in this three-bedroom, two-bath home in North Stockton. Tammy Jackson, husband Ed, and recent college graduate and son Niger have rented seven years, but it hasn't been easy. I think it's pretty difficult to be a renter in Stockton. Jackson works two jobs as a social worker and marriage and family therapist. Her husband, a former warehouse supervisor, is disabled. Their rent was $1,100, but her landlord increased it this month by 18% to $1,300. He has um, let me know that he knows he's, uh, my rent is under market, so I'm sure he's looking to get it to at the market rate. Jackson says it causes anxiety, not knowing when or how much her rent could go up again. That's why Stockton Mayor Michael Tubbs is proposing an emergency amendment to the city code to limit the rental increases yearly to 5% plus cost of living. That coincides with a new state law in 2020. Tubbs says it can't wait. Let's make it in effect today so that Thanksgiving and Christmas, we don't have people being evicted for no reason. But as you might imagine, landlords have a much different opinion when it comes to the rent control proposal. Steve Smith is a veteran landlord who manages properties for his mother. He says rent control just means more regulations and takes away the incentive for investors to purchase properties. Most of the people that own rentals in this community, houses for instance, most of them are people that didn't work for the city, didn't work for the county, didn't work for a large corporation that have pensions. They saved their money for 30 years to buy one, two, three houses, and that is their retirement. And that's what I'm protecting. Community organizers like Tony McNeil say they're hearing more and more renters getting rate increases they can't afford. The most common thing that we're hearing is we're selling the house and we just need you to move.